The way a man treats his machine says something about the man. It says pride. Pride in workmanship, and that's what it's all about. You tell him, Junior. Boy, I like that kind of enthusiasm. You know what I'm talking about? Well, I sure do. Me and my partner here, we, we've been building cars for 42 years. No kidding. <laughs> oh, no, it's true. We were on the assembly line at the Dearborn plant out there on Miller Road. Why don't we talk to these guys? Two American workers. Let's get them down here. Come on, you guys. Ah. Let's play. Yeah. TV? Well, these aren't hair dryers, pal. Yeah, you're on TV. <laughs> Do we get tool time hats? Well, I don't have any with me, but Al, let's get two hats for him. All right, gentlemen, what are your names? <clears throat> I'm uh, Hick Peterson. Hello, Hick. How you doing? Eddie Phillips. Eddie Phillips. How yeah. you guys doing? Welcome to Tool Time. This is Al over here. Well, we know Al. Oh, oh we Al. love Al. <laughs> oh, we all love yeah. Al. Hey, Al, come on. Give us one of the big salutes. to disturb this love fest you have going here. But let me remind you of something. Al is my assistant. He assists me. <laughs> hey, gentlemen, what do you say we sit out and chat a little bit? Oh, yeah. All week long, we've been doing our salute to workmanship. And who would know more about workmanship than you two guys? 40 years, 40 some odd years on the line, what'd you do? Well, the hick here was headlight alignment, and I was rear bumpers. From uh, the beginning to the end? Yep. Cool. You know. 42 years on the line, you must have pushed out some good Detroit iron. Ah, let me ask you a question. In all those years, what was your favorite car? Oh, 55 Thunderbird. No doubt about oh, it, the bird. Yeah. yeah. Ford's answer to the Corvette. It was a two-seater, had a V8. V8 engine, 92 V8. Three-speed overdrive. Front drive. suspension, upper and lower A arms, yeah. and coil springs. That thing, power to weight ratio, you could do zero to six in her 10 seconds. Ah, ah, <laughs> good grunt always cleans me out. <laughs> must have been a great day watching that first T-bird roll off that Oh, line. great day. But they were all good days back then. You know, we used to knock out about 100 cars a day. And after work, Hick and me would go down and have a stinky. Stinky? Yeah, it's a sandwich. It's oh. my own invention. Limburger cheese, sauerkraut, big slice of Bermuda onion, and some hot mustard. <laughs> Why don't you just lick a skunk? <laughs> <laughs> and Tim, they still make a great stinky at down at Big Mike's Tavern at Fourth and Jefferson. Hey, that ought to take care of our tab. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Big Mike's Tavern. Boy, that sounds like a man's bar there, huh? Oh, you know oh. it, Junior. Pool tables, dark wood, American beer. <laughs> there we go there all the time. I Fourth and Jefferson. All right, all right. <laughs> That's all the time we have for tool time this week. Al, what do you say we give these two American workers a tool time salute? Hey. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> and remember, men build machines. They don't build themselves. So next time you see a 55 t bird remember, this is the face of the man that installed that bumper. And this is the face of the man that aligned the headlights. <laughs> Remember, if you didn't put it together with your own hands, it's not really yours. See you next time on Tool Time. <laughs> 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 <laughs>